Thank you, Timothy. Indeed, I would like to talk about how technology can help introduce smart materials into aerospace, and in particular, how we can help monitor them and track them when they fly. So, as you can probably guess, the outside of an aircraft surface is always attacked. Rain, of course, but hail, lightning strike, bird impact, foreign objects, so that's objects left on the, on the ground, etc. And at an aircraft speed, even a small object can cause a crack. Crack that can turn, can aggravate with the fatigue and the aircraft cycles. This is particularly dangerous for new materials, so carbon fibers in particular, but also all the smart materials. And for example, we've seen what Airbus has been testing. For these materials, the biggest safety barrier is visual inspection. Today, a plane is inspected on average two hours per day. That's enormous. Now, state of the art. Basically, today is done manually. So you can see on these pictures. Basically, there's going to be different kinds of inspections daily, uh, more regular, etc., and planified inspection. First, it's a dull task. Why? Because basically, you're going to ask 10 inspectors to look over thousands of square meters of white surface to find little black dots or marks. Now, obviously, this is not error prone. This is error prone and you have in between 2 to 5% of defects that are not found by the humans. Now, obviously, it's also something which is dangerous, because the inspector not only has to screw the surface to find the defects, but he has to ensure his own safety with cherry pickers, safety lines, etc. Now, when the inspection is planified, usually there's not many delays. But however, on many uh, impacts, such as lightning strike impact, which is, you know, difficult to predict, um, Legislation imposes grounding until the visual inspection is completed. This means eight-hour delay for all the passengers. Now, with my team, we've developed technology that can really change the way we do these inspections. Basically, we've developed autonomous drones with a capacity of indoor and outdoor flight. Now, I'll, I'll go a bit more in detail on this. They carry a smart camera, which is capable of detecting all kinds of visual defects. And basically, with this, we can reduce an inspection time from 8 hours to 20 minutes. Now, you may wonder why UAVs are only entering this market. Well, first, if you want to do a complete inspection which is reliable and consistent, obviously, you can't have remote control drones. But you also want to do this in a hangar. Trust me, if it's raining or windy, you're not going to find anything. So you need to have intelligent drones which can navigate autonomously, detect obstacles in a hangar. So you can't rely on GPS. And likewise, you can't rely on many of the indoor navigation systems because of the metallic structure of the aircraft that's basically going to parasite the signals. So we've basically bought SLAM technology. So SLAM is the capacity for a robot to sense its environment, map the environment, and navigate in it to a new level, to an industry, meet industrial requirements. Basically, our UAVs are capable of centimetric level precision in industrial hangars. Basically, the UAV, using multiple laser sensors, is able to estimate its position relatively to the aircraft with centimeter precision. This also brings state-of-the-art obstacle avoidance. We're not talking about avoiding only people, but also cables or safety lines of five millimeter diameter. Now, this technology enables full visual inspection with a smart camera. So a smart camera is basically real-time object recognition. So this is a little guess. The image on the right is hidden on the image on the left. Obviously, at this scale, you won't be able to find it. Now, more importantly, the data we gather is structured. What does that mean? Well, to start with, basically, we're gathering one square meter pictures at a one meter distance but we can also unwrap the geometry. That is, if, for example, we take a picture of a curved surface, we can undo the curve to have a proper material that can be analyzed. Afterwards, we know exactly the position of the pictures. So what does this mean? This means that we can store the data and go back, for example, in time. So let's say this is a crack. It's uh, near a door on an aircraft. So it has been found, for example, on a certain date. Well, to start with, we can go back in time and see if that crack existed, let's say, two months ago, four months ago, etc. What this also means is that as technology on defect recognition improves, 
We're able to rerun the algorithms to see if defects were not existing before. Likewise, if we only detect a defect on the day, we're also capable of going back and maybe actually finding the trace. Now, this is particularly useful because basically we're going to be tracking how the defects live. And this is, yeah, again, pr pretty useful for new materials because the predictive models, for example, for carbon fiber, or even more true for smart materials, are not reliable enough to know how the crack is going to evolve. Now, we can do this on time, but we can also do this on the fleet of aircraft. Let's say you can ask the same zone and say, on my entire fleet, what does this zone look like? This basically is able to detect patterns which can, on one hand, help the, the airline, the manufacturer, sorry, to improve the design, but it's also able to detect patterns, for example, of misusage. For example, if at a certain airport the left door is always damaged, it probably means that the passenger systems are arriving, are impacting a bit strong. So this is the kind of data we're able to extract. And again, we believe we're having a data set that is going to track uh, how defects live. Now, today we have successfully tested our autonomous UAVs on multiple aircraft types, ranging through the entire 320, uh, 320 family and up to wider bodies and demonstrated the capacity to accurately detect, locate, and classify a number of defects. But we're not replacing the human. Why? Because if we can pinpoint the defect, we're not able to analyze it yet. So basically, we're giving a new tool to the inspector that instead of having to climb on an aircraft and find a defect, he can spend more time on what he does best, which is analyzing the defect. Now, in turn, what does this mean? Obviously, it's more safety. Because if today we can do this in a hangar, tomorrow we hope to do this directly at the gate. Maybe in a couple of years' time, before every flight, you'll be able to have a UAV to visually inspect the aircraft and detect any damage. This also means less downtime, because tomorrow when your aircraft will be hit by lightning, you won't have to wait eight hours, you'll be able to fly just 20 minutes. And finally, we can help improve the aircraft, but also integrate new smart materials. And why is this important? Because new materials is basically efficiency. And efficiency is reducing carbon emissions. So in a nutshell, we believe that this technology can increase safety, reduce downtime, and help improve the way global aviation works today.